we are ready to adhere all these pieces on. Um, when I do stone veneer, I like to dry lay uh, a really good amount of them out to make sure I am happy with the result before they are stuck on. I know a lot of people that do veneer get two or three pieces done and ready and they stick them on instantly. I don't think that's the way to go. I think it's better to make sure that everything looks the way you want it to do, want it to be before you actually start sticking them on and having a bunch of them laid out before that is the best way in my mind but uh, we had some stone on the uh, job site that needed to be uh, dumped for our backfilling so here's a quick clip of that How you doing everyone? Back at Benny's parents house again. Uh, the veneer we sat last night has set. So I just want to show you guys again where we're at. We got the cubby in here. Bottom layer, that's all adhered on already. So the plan is to keep moving on veneer. Um, not much really else to say other than we'll set you up on a time lapse and keep you posted as we go. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're going into the second day of stone veneer. Um, the first day was actually half a day of uh, setting up the stone veneer. We finished the block work in the beginning of the first day, but uh, I just wanted to mention how you know when you're doing stone work like this, guys, it's tedious work. You just kind of have to have patience take your time and um, make these stones fit the best as as you can um, you know you could you could do these uh, jobs like this with uh, mortar joints so that you don't have to actually customize the stone as much as I am but uh, you know I, I find that at the end of the day you're spending just as much time 
uh, because you actually have to point and then wash and clean all the joints with uh, mortar as opposed to if you can make these stones fit as tight as I am you don't have to go back and point these joints you just adhere them on and you're done and it gives it a really clean custom look and um, you know people can really tell that you know what you're doing when you do something like this and like I said before you know some guys will have a batch of mortar by their side so that whenever they have a uh, stone ready they'll stick it right on but I do like what I'm doing here I set up um, a good amount of stones and pieces uh, before I actually started hearing them on so I can really make sure that they're exactly how I want them to be um, I know I'm very particular with my stone stone veneer work and stone work I've, I, the way I see it is if you're putting your hand to stone work and you're going through this much effort and the customer is spending as much money as they are you really just gotta take your time guys and, and produce a really good product for, for your customers and um, when you step back and look at it uh, you know it all it all pays off at that point because of um, you know the, the fulfillment you get of a nice job well done so anyway we'll get right back into this guys there was a lot of music in the background on this day which I'll get copyrights for so that's why I have a lot of uh, voiceovers and music playing in the background while I do this so hope you still like it in the video <clears throat> if not give me some feedback on what you would like to see differently if you are um, you know any kind of comments any kind of feedback and uh, communication is welcomed from from all you viewers um, you know I, I really appreciate the support from all you subscribers and the people that are staying caught up with these hardscape jobs it's my true passion and I uh, truly enjoy doing it and love sharing it with you guys on YouTube so um, nevertheless let's get back into it guys we're wrapping up this uh, first part of the uh, stone veneer install on this outdoor bar with a granite tabletop and um, the next video is going to show us wrapping up the stone veneer and uh, installing our custom granite um, mantle on top of the table uh, you'll just have to check out the next video to see what I'm talking about but it really um, fixed the mistake of me breaking the table if you saw the big chunk missing out of it um, it really covered it up nicely and added a lot of character to this outdoor bar. But if you guys are liking these videos, 
especially the stone veneer, um, how I dry laid them in. Um, like I said, give me some feedback in the comments. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to this YouTube journey. It's still about a month and a half right now into um, my YouTube channel being started. And I'm looking forward to um, communicating with all you guys and making videos that you truly enjoy. So until the next one, God bless.